going on YouTube? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Been a couple days. Morning, morning, school of crowds. Cheers to you. You good? I look at this the more I'm not mad because the buds are swelling up especially them back there them two plants here this plant got some little little buds but it's nothing I can do about that the veg time and everything was different on it but over here everything's swelling up to the point that damn near the canopy is filling up in different elevations but there's bud pretty much everywhere over there same here and the buds are getting big even the ones that wasn't buds originally with your snakes <coughs> what was going on with your snakes the weather changed fucking with them they don't know if they supposed to wake up or go to sleep <coughs> your heating pad melted you need to check your ground out in your house. <coughs> your wire connections might be fa uh, faulty and it's overheating uh, uh, high power sources of power uh, draw. And if your neutral or your ground is loose, that normally happens. Like if you run a stench cord or something, a stench cord feel like it's melting or getting hot. You need to check your grounds. else we got here good morning good morning I see a few people here nobody said nothing yeah school of crap you know I work on houses I rehab houses for a living <coughs> but uh, <coughs> you know no wiring and shit too <coughs> and anytime I ever see you know she getting hot or burning or Doing cir circus type of shit, I start checking the connections through the house to make sure everything is grounded properly and shit, so it's not a weak connection that's making shit get hot trying to stay connected. But for your heating pad to do that, I would say that something ain't connected right and shit got hot. <coughs> oh, they Oh, or they sell us something that can randomly burn your house down. Let's go look at the uh, deep water culture real quick. We can look at these when I come back. Oh, I got water. Yeah, it's just drunk as hell. Let me get some water for that on the way back. So I don't know if y'all know, I had four clones that was in cups. The, the Oreos that I bought that was getting revenge. <coughs> oh, a seedling mad at that? <coughs> yeah, but I don't see why it would melt and get hot. But anyway, I took some uh, cones and put the bubblers out of here and to here. <coughs> put four plants in there <coughs> and bubbled the dirt off of them so I could do this. 
It's going on two days now. Everything is happy. When I first loaded them up, all the roots I put inside the balls, I didn't have nothing hanging out the basket. Little by little, the roots are coming out the baskets. Uh, my mixture of nutrients right now is half synthetic and half organic. And uh, I'm trying to, oh, I got new growth. And the new growth is turning green. Yeah, because both these, the, the big plants, this plant and this plant was pretty much red from the stems was red from being in the pot and it was like root bound. So I was trying to transplant them into uh, sunshine number four, but didn't have none. I had to go buy some. So I said, fuck it. And I needed some decent sized plants for here. So these two here are clones off of these two plants here. And when I bought these plants, like I've been telling y'all, these was re plants. They was uh, in like re stage. So I had to veg them back. Now they starting to grow. And I'm hoping now that they get nutrients like they get in here that they start growing better. So, like I said, these are clones from these two. All four of these are the same strand. Came from the same uh, genetics and everything else. So, that's what I did to get this set up. Is to put these in here. And they've been going good. They're getting stronger. Sitting up better the whole nine yards. These two was droopy. Those barely, they had roots, but it still was in a rock wool. And this is in the rock wool. These two ain't have rock wools. I've winched them all the way out to dirt, uh, from the dirt and straight roots. And then I placed them inside of here. And then right here is what my reservoir looked like. A little something, something, something. A little something, something, something. So I'm off and running with the deep water culture. I gotta get my spray pump. Cause I need to feed my babies in temp number three. Ugh. We'll come back and see these in a minute. Still gotta sweep up a pile of trash in here. I keep spreading back out. I'll be busy, I'll be tired, I'll be busy. Let me turn this light on though. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh tent number three just getting water today. The last time I watered it, I gave it uh I gave it uh, a compost tea. <laughs> This is how I water every day that I got. I use a pump sprayer, and I pump spray. In the first uh, two, the first two tents, well, the first second second tent, I pretty much pump spray a whole gallon through the four plants. The third tent, I damn near do a whole gallon through three uh, plants. But they're all uh, two gallon planters. But I drench them and wait for them to drip through, and then I. Well, hold on. Then I. Uh, Fill up the bottom tray for the bottom feed. Uh, I got a whole bunch of sugar and shit on the floor because yesterday I was doing the generators, the uh, CO2 generators. Morning, Mr. Fucker. How you doing, my baby? About to feed these, well, water these uh, thirsty ass plants of mine. Oops. Hold on. Sorry about that. I'm trying to open this damn tent up. This is about to be good enough. Oh, shit. That damn hose is coming loose on my damn crib. Too much water and I can't even pump it. But this is what I'll be doing uh uh hot water as I come and I spray for about say 10 seconds, 15 seconds at a time, and I let it soak in 
per plant and go around and come back it's saturated these ain't i ain't got no pressure right now because the pump sprayer is full so i can't even get no no pumps in so like i said last time i gave this a compost tea i'm trying to get i might give tip number two a one compost tea before i harvest because still got two or three weeks to go and i've been flushing it and I'm thinking a compost tea won't hurt it and it'll flush out before it's time to harvest. And I'm thinking it'll benefit from that compost tea once again. So, I mean, this is what I do to water them. Normally this one don't get droopy, but it's droopy today, so it's thirsty, thirsty. This one will never get droopy. I didn't think it was that thirsty to this morning. Yeah, water ran straight through it. It don't never run straight through this one. Never. But that's why I do this pump sprayer. The pump sprayer lets things soak in. And then I come back around and let it soak in some more. I come back around and let it soak in some more. And as that, when I do it this way, it takes a whole bunch of water, but the roots re rehydrate and the soil rehydrates where it drinks and slows up the process of it get dry again. Right. Right. What y'all got going on this morning? Y'all smoking or y'all just chilling? Man, the top of these soils hard as hell. They wasn't this hard last time. It takes a good 20-30 minutes all together to actually water because I slow water it. But they like it. They likes it. And after I gave them the compost tea, the, the buds like doubled in size down there. Uh, yeah. I knew last night this was dry, but I didn't think it was dry as it is. But these bitches was dry, dry. And let me tell you that uh, this pump sprayer, I usually have one anyway, but this pump sprayer came with all the stuff that I bought off the of Facebook Marketplace, these tents and lights and all that shit. This pump sprayer came with that shit, and I need it because all my plants are low as hell, so I couldn't water them, hand water them if I wanted to. I would need something like this or a water hose. But I like this because it gives a slow soaking. It soaks, it soaks in real slow. I hate that this tent, the fan blow right at me sitting outside it. Because it's aiming towards the door. And when I close everything up, it ricochets off. But it makes it hard to light the blunt. Oh, I got room to pump now. Oh, I gotta check tent number one too. I got one plant. And t t oh, I got two plants. I got the the plant that got poison in tent number one, and I got another uh, clone. Oh no, it's a seedling that's in there. That I started another round of perpetual harvest in there. Next week, uh, this Saturday, I'll put another one in there. Yeah, they was dry today. God damn. I don't like seeing them like this, but I know that they drinking. Now, tent number two done slowed down drinking. And it, I'm waiting for it to dry up, but it's been heavy for about three days now. And usually it dries up in a day and a half or so. So I don't know if this is because of the ripening stage that the buds are in right now or what. But it ain't drinking. Yeah, Mr. Fucker, it seems like that you do, me and you do a lot of shit the same. <laughs> as far as how we water, light, and all that shit, our conditions.
Oh, there's the water on there on the back. We got water in it already. I found the pan, then they're full low key. Am I tripping? No, I'm not. How the fuck that happened? That mug was real dry. It's like hydro locked up. I'm just gonna soak that up too, but I know it still needs a lot more, but it ain't ever put that much in the back one. Ain't never put as much as in that pan right now the time period that it did it. It was just the driest it's been in a long time. I almost think that compost tea made everything suck up some shit. Yeah, pretty much me too. And I, you know, the more I think about it, and the more I watch people go through a lot of stress and overwhelming shit to take care of a garden, I simplify a lot of shit, Mr. Fucker. That one running through threw me off because I know it needs a lot more water. <coughs> Mr. Fucker, I'm running like 90 degrees in all my tents. And all my buds are dense and hard and looking good. And everybody be trying to be in 70 and 80. And I know I was shooting for 85 from everything that I've seen with LED lights and shit. But my shit be running in the 90s. That's pretty much why I make sure I got CO2 just because I know it's really, really hot. But I don't have no exhaust or anything going in these fans. And these kind of some big ass lights to be in a 3x3 tent. Morning to my other viewers. <coughs> oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, and put the blood down. I was saying in the other video is I get weird little growth on this strand, like in the veg plant, it's like topping itself and got double tops, like I topped it. I did. And then this one's got like revenged little buds popping up, like two or three of these that done popped up looking like that. It's something wrong, it's something different with this genetic. And they're supposed to be white runs. <coughs> That's another one. It's a couple of them. Two or three of those on this plant. But the plant I'm vegging that's a clone off of this one, it's like topping itself. I'm going to show y'all when I get to the veg after I water these. But it's like topping itself to the point that every top done topped off to made two or three tops in the same spot. It's weird. And I wonder if I if it'll stop once I transplant it or if it's doing it because it's like root bound and it's busting out wherever it can. <coughs> I mind everybody, the one back here is the seedling, and that's the one I got the clones off that's inside the tent where I got two clones of this in a two cut gallon bag. But this is also the plant months ago. Somebody said that I had a weed growing in it and it was making the seed like a peak for space. And the, the weed is still down there in the bottom. And it's competing for space with the weed plant, not with the weed plant competing for space for it. The weed plant won. I have to feel how heavy that one is because it ran through so damn fast. I don't know what to think. Is it running through again? It looks like it too. Let's see. I'm about halfway through the gallon. Let's see.
Yeah, that's the only plant that's doing that. Good morning to you too, Seymour. Um, but that's the only one that's got that alter genetic to it. And the clone, once I get done water, I'll show you, it's got like a whole bunch of tops popping up in a, in a solo cup. And the tops are like topping off themselves. They, they almost look like flowers. Why they topping off? I thought it was fucking male genitalia popping up on it at first until the ones that I thought was male genitalia uh, matured and start becoming a limb and start becoming a top. Like it's weird. But I'm gonna keep that strand alive because that strand was a tight little bushy plant the whole time I was vegging it. I put it in here and it was a little teacup plant. And it busted loose when it went to do its little stretch. Now the one back there ran through and I'm putting just as much water in all these and neither one of the ones, the other two ran through like the one back there. That one was just dehydrated, dehydrated. Cause I know I put a gallon in these motherfuckers pretty much. It'd be maybe a, a eighth of, man, maybe a, uh, uh, not a quarter. Maybe a sixteenth of a gallon left when I'm done and I put that in the big plant that got poison. I just top off with it to keep the moisture, the top of it moist. But I usually water until I see shit run through, and then I put, I fill up the trays and let them soak the, the, the water up through the trays. What you mean looking at the plant is not the strand? I'm saying, you see how do you see that? What do you mean? He said, well, dang, can we get a quick freestyle? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm on that temple right now. And I have to go upstairs to do it because I don't have no uh, devices down here to play on my Bluetooth. My daughters ain't been here for the last couple of days, so they I usually use their laptops or their cell phones to play the music so I can uh, do the live with my phone. Okay, so that one leaked through now. I just need this one to leak through. I still don't think it, 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 it's all the way saturated. I don't know, it's about right. It's getting low. Water getting low. Nah, man. 80% of YouTube can't stand me. And I'm going to tell you, you know, I'm not a, a insecure person or nothing. But I pay attention to what happens on other people's channels and what happens in other people's views and what happens with other people's comments and all that shit and it's people with a hundred subs they get more views and comments and love than I get out of having the 700 whatever people I got and on top of that I get maybe fucking 40 50 views on my average video and as people with a hundred and something views, a hundred and something subs to get a hundred, two hundred views on their videos. Um, the other day I went and spoke on somebody's comments because they had stretchy plants. And next thing you know, the motherfuckers come in the chat and in the comments talking about that guy always uh, trolling people. Don't worry, that's what he does. He, he trolls everybody. And I don't troll no goddamn body for real, for real. And I don't even talk on nobody's comments. I just start doing it thinking that... Uh, I need to, you know, reach out and, you know, share and, and, and view other people's shit. And so I just started commenting for real. And now I'm, I'm labeled as a troll. And all I asked is, was the person growing the, the plants the way they was growing it on them for a reason? What's up, Dad's Tent? What's up, Junior? Good morning, good morning. I mean, I'm just saying, if it was love, like I, I, my haters come and view me, and if things look good, they unsub. If they, if my plants was dead, they would stay and talk shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I get unsubbed, for, I get, I lose three or four subs a week. I gain a couple and lose a couple every week, every week. And say for instance, I make the video about the troll saying the tank calling me a troll. 
I made that video and lost three subs. I still got people trying to criticize my techniques and the shit that I do. <clears throat> oh yeah, I, I give them what they ask for when it comes down to it. I ain't gonna run, I ain't gonna tuck my tail and run. That's the thing, Dad's Ted. Like, people say, oh, you think you know everything and blah, 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 blah. It ain't that I think I know everything, but I think I know certain shit that I done went through and dealt with and, and might help somebody. But everybody got arrogant and got pride. I don't know what it is, but I'm not the person that can suggest anything to anybody. Even though it's the other channels that's more successful to me that know that I know my shit and they won't, they, 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 I, I can, like on certain people's channels, I can answer questions that the, the, the viewers are asking for that person. If he don't see it, I'm like his backup answerer. And he knows I do it. And he tells everybody, you know, like he, he's helping me out. He knows what he's saying, blah, 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 blah. But let somebody else, if I do it in somebody else's channel, I don't know shit. My plants are dead. My plants are this and this and this and this and that. Yeah, well, that's the thing about me is that uh, the energy that I get on YouTube is the same energy I get in life. Like, everybody fucks with me or don't like me or talk shit about me or get mad at me or whatever you want to say it is. is because I'm different even in real life. Like, I'm in the hood, but I don't do hood activity. So the, the, the hood activity people look at me weird or, or, or prejudiced against me because I carry myself different. Now I want to know how when I had this limb trained for fucking weeks, it just popped up free. And I don't even know where the fuck it was sitting at no more. It ain't going to sit there no more. That's crazy. I uh, guess I got it. I know that motherfucker. Ooh, that's starting to smell different. That smell almost like toothpaste. And I know a lot of weed got a minty smell, but that's different. And, you know, that's a seedling, so I don't know what it is, but it's a seedling out of some weed I got out of the dispensary bag. I got everything soaked through now. Out of a gallon, this is how much is left from me just getting it soaked through. And then after I get it soaked through, I fill the pants up so that it can bottom feed the roots and the soil. The rest of the way. I know I can't wait to do a reset on these tents because I made a hell of a mess in them. And, that, and then I didn't have these trays for the majority of the time. And then after I got them, I had to lift them up under the scrubs and uh, get the little pants underneath. Morning, morning to whoever just came in. Twin, twin! Me and KJ was talking about you. We ain't seen y'all asses. What's up, my baby? Both y'all here just one. I hope people start being more cool to y'all since, uh, you know what I'm saying, y'all kind of been accepted into the community. KJ said he said y'all was cool as long as y'all acted right. He let y'all chill. Everything looking droopy right now because it was super, super thirsty over here. So I'm about to finish filling these pants up. And then I will show y'all the clone of this that I got that all these little tops are happening on its own. And I guess it's the maturity of the plant. It might be, you know, if the every 300th uh, 300 clone from a genetic, it gets fucked up and mutated. So I wonder if the person I got these clones from, how many generations of clones they actually came from. Give me a little bit more, just a little bit more. A little bit more. And I gotta come back over here and clean. I got a whole bunch of sugar up underneath right now. On my feet and on the ground. Okay. So that pretty much took a whole goddamn gallon. Oh shit! Oh, I thought it fell. Okay. 
a whole gallon for two well for three two gallon planters let's see what everybody's saying That's my main uh, uh, thing that I tell people, uh, School of Crops, is that this ain't they weed. I'm not growing for them. They'll never touch it. They'll never smell it. They'll never do anything with it for them to worry about what the fuck I'm doing to it. Now, the thing about it is, is, you know, some of the shit that I use for nutrients by the people, and I tell them that if it was high in nitrogen, my plants wouldn't be eating off itself like this and going into week seven and so i'm gonna give one more compost tea to this because i feel like they might be still be hungry because i got some whisker hairs back here that i don't think is gonna get soaked up into the, the uh, uh cattle calluses you know into the, the pistols ain't gonna get swollen up like this one ain't got no hairs left like it done swollen up and ate the hairs up and it's doing that on every bud So let's go look at what I was talking about in the veg. It's four of the clones that I had in here I took out and put it in deep water culture. Ugh. Okay. This plant is that planet that was in there. Let's see what y'all saying. Damn, I got a lot of uh, messages. Hold on. Oh yeah, I, 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 I stop going to people lives and everything after a certain shit happens there. Even if it ain't the person who live it is doing it, if, it's, if, if they viewers is talking shit, I fuck stop fuck with them. Oh uh, yeah, you, I, I kind of got some of the just of the KJ police shit. I ain't getting into that. I don't know if the neighbor was at KJ or if the neighbor was just tripping. I don't know what it is. But at the same time period, if that's what you're talking about, in a situation in, in the city of Detroit, you can't just be fucking with anybody and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with people. People shoot people for no reason. You know what I'm saying? And being an old head, you got to walk and talk different. I don't know if it's something that he could avoid it. I don't know if he was in a situation or predicament. But niggas is crazy. Excuse my language. It's not just that, you know what I'm saying? It's a different ball game in, the, in Detroit, for real. Oh no, I don't waste time figuring it out. You need some fresh what, um, Mr. Fucker? Oh, what's up, Junior? <laughs> what cow mag do I use? I use, um, right now what I'm pretty much using for my PK period is either Absin salt or, um, 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 kelp, uh, uh, kelp meal. Is it kelp meal? Kelp extract in the 17 on the on the PK, but um, my dry amendments also has calcium in it and cow mag. You know, right now I'm 100% organic. Now, only thing that's using synthetic is some of what's in my deep water culture. All of this is organic 100% now with dry amendments and shit. Oh, from what he, I, I saw his his rebuttal to the situation, saying that the guy was throwing shit around, tearing his car up, and flipping out shit. Okay, well, see, I, 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 I wasn't even around for that. 
I ain't got nothing to do with that. There's a lot of, you know, controversy about certain things that were said and done when I wasn't still, I wasn't on YouTube at the time. So I'm not jumping on no ships about shit, you know what I'm saying? And I try to stay out the drama and the controversy and people trying to expose people's business and, and all that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? Out of everything, I don't know how y'all got on that conversation, how y'all was that close as friends. But at the same time period, if he confided in you, he talked to you as a friend, you didn't have to go tell you two shit that he said. Now, as a friend, you might have told him on the side, like, KJ, that was fucked up, bro. You shouldn't have did that, whoop de whoop or whatever you felt about it as a friend. Now, not, not, not trying to make problems for him on YouTube unless you felt like you just couldn't be friends with him after that. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't have no understanding of it. But it, it's different ways to get shit around the people. It's no different. Like right now, I still try to get along with people that I haven't got along with in years on YouTube. But I came back in 2024 and say, you know what? Everybody get a clean slate. Even right now, only person that I got blocked is Carl with a K. I have, I have unblocked uh, Chronic uh, Chronic Rose and I have unblocked everybody else that I have blocked. Except for Carl with a K, because he, he toxic to me. The shit he's saying, how he acts, I just can't fuck with it. I mean, he told the story that he wanted to tell on YouTube, and you came back and told the truth, right? I don't know what you, because you said he lied on what really happened or whatever. <coughs> Either way, I don't, you know, I ain't got nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problems with KJ like that. I ain't trying to have no problems with nobody to be involved in some shit that I ain't got nothing to be with, be involved in. I mean, if he did, he did. You know what I'm saying? Not everything, he still would have to deal with that neighbor because that neighbor ain't forgave him if he did. And the neighbor know he called the police on him. <coughs> 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 I'm trying to smoke this button. I'm going to show you all this clone. And you can damn near see some right here, how this top looking. This top is topping itself off after it just split off of here. And it's close as hell to this. Uh, this one here, it's got two tops coming in. Like it, you can see, it ain't nowhere where the top was cut at. But it's coming in like it's been topped. It's doing it everywhere. I had to move some leaves. It was three or four tops right here that I didn't even see that was underneath this leaf originally. And then I bent everything down and they started getting light and growing. You can see two more right here. Oh, you can't see that. You can see two more right here. This top is splitting off into two tops. This motherfucker makes his own tops. Look, you can see here, it did it here. And then it's about to start doing it here. And it did it here. It split here twice and now it's splitting here twice. And it's about to split there twice. What dots you see? Oh, that was, uh, oh, oh, I don't know what the dots is. It was, uh, some of them is from, uh, thrip damage. You know, I had thrips real bad. And this is one of the clones off the original thrip plants. Like, this clone came from the plants that had gaming thrips. Like, I had bought six clones. And them clones had thrips real, real, real bad, but I didn't know for a while. And then they started tearing my shit up. And then I started using mothballs. Yeah, I already did a whole segment about the thrips. If you can see, like, you don't see it on the new girl for nothing. And that's all on the old leaves and shit on this clone that they, they, they was on here. I still treating for the thrips because, you know, they hatch eggs and shit. And I don't know how long they stay, stay hatching eggs. So I still trip, uh, treat for them. But they was bad, bad at first. Like, every leaf, every, every plant was ate the fuck up. And you know, um, certain people on YouTube had them recently, and they killed the hell grows out because they couldn't deal with them. And I've been killing them with with mothballs.
and then they might still be in this area but i knock them out in the tents because i got a tighter area that i can i can fumigate and and do what i can do in like over here it's too wide open and it's, this area leaks so it don't get fumigated when i put the mothballs in the tent it gets like like cloudy in there from the fumes What the fuck is Athena? So. That's the next go round of the white runs. <clears throat> this is the next go round of the wedding cake. The clones that had that uh, that still got a revenge that I had in the deep water culture, I, I potted them. That one got droopy, so I put a bag over it so it could get some humidity for a little while and stand back. And once it snaps out, then it'd be fine. It's got roots. It was just saturated, saturated. I think it was like suffocating now. That right there is the other Oreos clone, which is growing now. And then once the ones that I got in deep water culture get some newts, they start growing because they was like root bound in the cups and wouldn't grow at all i ain't never seen nothing like it but they was you know those i bought those clones and they had to revenge and they wasn't doing shit for weeks like it took weeks to get this one to grow and i had to cut the top to you know promote the growth again once i topped the top on that one it started growing so i got that one veg and then i got four of those in my deep water culture This one, I don't need it, and I don't need to get rid of it. That's just, you know what I'm saying? They, I mean, some clones do that in the rooting process to, to root, but those are um, clones that had bud on them that I took off of the plant that ended up getting poisoned. I took those like a day or two before they got poisoned. So once they re the clone, the, the buds will start busting like that one, and it'll bust out with a whole bunch of tops, and it's going to veg out there because it's a monster crop. The ones I got in, uh, I didn't mean to. They didn't look like that. They was like only had like a couple of leaves on them and a couple of tops. And then once I got them, they started vegging back and started showing a different sign. Like they was fucked up and they was stuck. Like wouldn't re veg out. Like the only why this one did is because the soil got more nitrogen and shit in it. When I had them in the solo cups and I didn't, you know, like these clones, when I bought the clones that these came from, I repotted them in my soil and did a whole bunch of different shit to them. Those I didn't do it, and so I couldn't feed them to get the other ones to get into revenge state. Like to revenge something, they need high nitrogen to go back into vegetation state. The the ones that I had in the cups was not doing nothing because I couldn't put enough nutrients into the cup like, to actually penetrate the situation. Now they in the deep water culture. And they already got, like, they was red because they were suffering. This one don't got no red in other than the leaf. <clears throat> the ones that's over there, they had red stems, branches, and everything. Now the tops where the new growth is is green coming from when, since they've been in deep water culture. I'm not worried about uh, bugs with the with yellow leaves. I'm not worried about it at all because I fumigate this whole area. And the only bugs that really get attracted to dead leaves is spider mites. And I have no signs of spider mites anywhere. They can't just pop up out of nowhere. I put all my dead leaves in the pots. Like every leaf that I pull off, I put into the big pots and let them break down in the pots. My soil is organic. So I let it be part of the pots. I ain't shit. I ain't worried about no, dead, no sick leaves. We show y'all. <laughs> so these are all the the Oreos. These two and that two are the same age as the one that I was pointing over that's revenging and growing. These are clones that I made off of these two. Like these are the tops of those plants. 
which I rooted and cloned in my dome. And they all got roots, and I put them in here almost three days ago now. And they've been doing what they do. Like, they're growing, they're happy, and everything good. This is what my uh, reservoir looking like. So, yeah. Uh, only thing is, is these the emitters be fucking up on me and they be overspraying, so I gotta keep coming and wiping shit down. Cause one minute they either lock up or not dripping enough, and then I try to turn them and they spray on top of the, the, the pans. But I've been keeping it clean because I know it's gotta be kind of sterile. So it, it's gonna be alright here. Yeah, the, uh, well, I got drip emitters in there and you can see where the reservoir is now when i bought this setup the setup only came with drip emitters so i had to buy this and when i bought this i bought a set of uh air stones and tubing which was uh black but the clear came with did the clear come with this or it came with something else i forget i got two sets of tubing but either way i bought this and i bought a set of air stones with some black holes and the black holes i really ain't used yet and so I made it so the dip drip emitters came with the hydro system here. Then I put air stones in each one. This is the only one I put a hole here for the air stone. Now this one got two air stones in it and each one of these got an air stone in it. Now if I go like here, you can see it's bubbling, bubbling. And then it's also got a drip emitter at the top that's going through the roots. They all do it. And then it's got a gravity feed to from that reservoir to all these to where the le levels come from here as it drips in and drips back and flow back to that reservoir. So I put it together the way I thought it should go. I made it so the drip emitters is there, but they really ain't needed. It could be just straight deep water culture for real, for real. But I figured this flow of water will help it too. So that's what I got going on. So I'm just waiting for these to snap out of what they was going through, which they are because the new growth is light green now. Everything was red as hell on this on this plant. And it's starting to get green. Well, the stock ain't wet. I ain't got it spread on the stock. And as long as it's uh, fresh water, it won't rot. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it was the water was not fresh and oxidized, that would be a threat. But uh, I know the drip emitters came with the system. But I don't, if I, I, I unplug it once already, but I feel like I, for right now I'm going to let it run and see what happens. And if it start doing anything different, I'll turn them off and let them do what it do. But as long as it's fresh water, it really don't rot shit. The, and the water is, re, is, you know, circulating. Well, that's the thing is, is that the system that I bought was just drip emitters. It had no air stones, no air pumps, no nothing with it. And I don't see them drip emitters putting enough oxygen in the system with where they circulate and flow back to that reservoir without making it so the plants would have been fucked up. So that's uh, I put the, the, the uh, air stones in it. I secondary bought the air stones and put those in there. Now, I'm thinking that they should have had air stones with the kit, but they didn't come with air stones, and it came with the drip emitters, and then it's nowhere in hell that drip emitters and that pump was going to aerate that water good enough. And I'm thinking it's, uh, I want to say it's 2.9 gallons a bucket of water. Yeah, uh, these clones are the same clones I was just in the tent talking about, saying that they was re veg clones. They was monster crop clones. I bought them, and they wasn't growing. And so I realized once they did start growing, that they growing like re -veg. The person I bought them from ain't responding after I said to them, why you sell me these damn clones? They like locked, locked up and wasn't growing. This one, you can see all the, the re -veg in it. And this one here, are both the tops of these plants. 
this one rooted faster than this one so it's got a little it's got a couple days more growth on it but this one was small like this one originally it's growing now and now it's got a revenge once it revenge the plant will be decent I just like this plant here <clears throat> That plant right there is the same strand, but it had more nutrients and roots to be able to spread out sooner. Like once it grew into the soil that I mixed here, it started vegging back faster. Those plants in there got to do what this plant doing, and once it does that, it, they going to take off. It's, it's, it just has got to go through a reveg stage. This, this clone the same age as those clones. But those clones just came out of solo cups that had the original soil mix or whatever the guy had it them in. And I didn't know they was re -vegging. And now that they re they they start, you know, busting out tops all over the damn place. Another week or two, this plant going to be a monster. This thing, as I tell people, Originally, uh, for the first five years of my channel, I had a partner, a grow partner, and she, you know, provided me with clones and genetics and all kind of shit. Well, we stopped fucking with each other, and this go around, I had no resources to get clones or anything. And then the people that I had fucked with previously through YouTube, or even people that I tried to gain a relationship through YouTube that's local, had some fucked up shitty attitudes or, you know, circumstances or situations it's a female that i don't pretty much gave clones to blessed her with weed prices and all kind of shit that i know through youtube and instagram i asked her for some clones she wanted 30 dollars a clone all right and she said i said damn 30 dollars she said yeah supply and demand baby you know what i'm saying it ain't no fucking supply and demand like that in detroit everybody got fucking clones well both times me buying clones i bought them off of facebook marketplace and the first time I bought six clones, it was supposed to be two wedding cakes, two white runs, and two uh, uh, Mac ones. Three of them was like the same strand. One was his own strand, which was the white runs. I only had one of those. And then I had two that was supposed to be Mac ones. And those gave me uh, rust, I mean, uh, thrips. So the second time I went through Facebook Marketplace and I bought those, and they are uh, Oreos with a Z. And they looked healthy, but they had, they had like four uh, leaves sticking out that was big, and they was all clawing. And once I got them and started growing them, I realized they was re -vegging and was like taking time to transition to go back to a veg state. Just like these. These are monster crop clones. And in one time period, those was like what these are. And he grew them out for a little while, but didn't veg them all the way back after cloning them. And then when I took the ones out the solo cups, I realized that they don't have no rock wool or no uh, root riots or nothing. He used the arrow cloner to clone them, so they cloned fast for him. He put them in solo cups and sold them. I had to revenge them. Are you making jokes on somebody again, bro? <laughs> Um, I have to go back and find their names. It was off of, face, of Facebook Marketplace. But both times, like the first time, I went through a whole bunch of hell trying to finally get somebody to come through with some clones. The guy brought the clones to me. Originally, he wanted um, $15 a clone. And when he got here, they pretty much looked like this. But they would, you know, didn't have the bud part. But his clones looked like this down there. That, and you can go back and look on my channel when I first said I bought some sick looking clones. And that's where this and this genetic came from. And when he got here, he wanted $15 a clone. And I'm like, bro, them motherfuckers fucked up, this and this and that. So I gave him $50 for all six of clones since he was delivering them to me. And I needed some clones. And I figured that I could bring the clones back and show my style, you know, techniques with them clones. But I didn't know they had thrips. And I ain't never dealt with threats before. And so, like I was saying, like certain people wanted $30 a clone, and they wanted $30 for a little clone, not for a teenager, not something for like this or anything. 
They wanted it for a, a, barely a clone clone. And then it's people, uh, I asked this guy, you know, you know, a booming YouTube channel that's local to me. And they said they can't sell me a clone until they get everything tested. They don't sell no clones until they're tested. And I'm thinking, I tested for fucking what? I never answered, asked him that, but that's the what my answer, his answer to me about buying clones from him. He couldn't sell me none until his, his clones got tested. No, 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 no. The first set of clones had thrips. The second clones was just revids. They don't have thrips. The first ones had thrips, but it took a while for them to actually show that they was fucking shit up. And then when, once they showed it, they had already, like, jumped through all these. Like, everything had thrips. But that was because of the, the ones I, the first ones I bought. But I done defeated them. Like, the plants that's in bloom right now are the plants that had thrips real bad. These didn't really have it. These are I done... You know, these was in the cloner or in some way or not, you know, I'm saying around the thrips like that. But at one stage, everything here was like scratched up and marked up like you see the spots on this one. I paid $50 for six of them, but they wasn't that that bad. I paid, they, you can go back on my channel, they, 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 like, late November, early December, I bought them, it was six in a solo cup, and red cups, and I did a video saying I, I, I bought some more clones, and they look like shit, and here they go, and I showed them, and people came in the comments that I had the shittiest clones on YouTube, and I re the clones back, I vegged them, well, I didn't veg them back, I, brought them back to life and then veg them out, bush eat them out, and that's what's all in the, the tents over there. The, all the tents, all the clones that's over there are those are those plants. <clears throat> all six of the, the four that's in tent number two and two of the ones in tent number three are the plant are those clones. That I had to retrain. I took them out the pots they was in the cups they was in, took them out the soil they was in, put them in my soil mix and start training them, tying them down and taping them veg them out and put them in the tents. The tent number two, I flipped a little soon because I need to see some flowers. Well, this is the thing is, is when I bought the sick clones, I bought them to show that I could veg them out and bring them back to life and do what I do. And when I did it, everybody's like, I can't believe those are the same clones. Like I showed that I wasn't tripping about them being like how that looked. I knew I could bring them back and do what I had to do. They sat me back a couple weeks training them, but I wanted to show that I could fix them clones and bring them back, and I showed that. Just like you can see, these ain't shit, and if, if I, they stay alive like supposed to, I'll show you that I'll train those and make those some sweet-ass plants. Just like I clone these, and I clone this, and I'm making them sweet. All these are clones I made except for that one. This one and this one is a clone off of the seedling that's in tent number three. This one and this one, this all these are clones off of tent number three. These same genetics is in tent number three. This seed, this is a plant in tent number three. This is a plant in tent number three, and this is a plant in tent number three. Right, I'm not recover. I'm not tripping about nothing that's in here right now. Cause I don't need this right now. When I first started, and the thing that I reason that I started when I started in November, I started because I was stressed out and depressed, and I needed something mentally to help me keep my mind straight. So when I started, I started with anything that I could. I got this T5 back from my friend that I grew in his backyard like three years ago, with the yard that I had the blue t uh, tarps on the side of the fence. This was in his basement because I bitched in his basement there. I called him. I was like, bro, can you please bring me that light? I need to grow something. And then I couldn't afford to buy no lights. So he brought me this light back. And I started sprouting seeds that wasn't sprouting well. That's when I made the rap video about I rap to my plants to motivate them to grow. And I was wrapping the soil because I had no plants. And some of the seeds started sprouting. And then I bought six clones to go with the seeds, the two seedlings that I had. And I was vegging underneath here, 
and then I came across some money and then I caught, found a lady on a marketplace that was selling a whole bunch of LED lights and tents and watering systems and all that shit. She sold it to me for 300 bucks. That's where I got all the equipment that I got over there. So I bought all that shit and the lights that I'm using now, it's all from me buying them off of Facebook, Facebook marketplace from the lady that her dad died. He had a whole basement full of growing because he was making infused liquor and he died and the daughter was trying to clean the house out and sell the house so she just wanted to get rid of the equipment so I bought all that shit and so I went on and started putting shit in bloom like soon because I needed to see some flowers developing that's why tent number one and tent number two got flipped over when they did now tent number three got the same age clones as tent number two but they got two weeks veg time difference between them and the plants look completely different because they had a little bit more veg time <laughs> School of crops, you got Joe, you got issues. I'm not tripping about bugs. I don't have bug wars. I don't fuck with uh, spider mites and russet mites at the same time. They killed my like they. I had a whole grow room full of plants. Some veg indoors, some veg with the summer sun that I put indoors to bloom. When I tell you, I had a whole big ass, big ass room full of plants. And little by little, I'm realizing they're not doing shit that they were supposed to be doing. Russet mites was killing the whole goddamn grow. I lost everything that I had, then some, and then I brought some more plants up there. Russet mites attacked them, and I finally figured out what the fuck was going on. And I had a war with russet mites twice. I got rid of them, then I got them back because the same person I got them from gave me some more russet mites. Then eventually I used uh, mothballs and it fumigated my grow, got rid of spider mites and russet mites at the same time. Then I grew with dirt, leaves, hay, and all kind of shit spread all over my grow room floor for three years without ever getting russet mites again, without ever getting spider mites again. Yeah, I'm on Instagram. It's uh, that guy CH2, all one word. Now the thing is, is uh, Uncle Dunk is his name. He been uh, uh, he did a request on um, Instagram for me, and I'm not sure if that's a person that been trolling me and somebody's got some controversies going on that I don't want no parts of. So I haven't accepted that that request. Well, that tense, I just needed some clones. I didn't have no way of getting no clones, so I got what I could. Now in the situation now, I start sprouting seedlings and I start, you know, cloning off the seedlings that I sprouted. And little by little, I get everything and dialed and get everything cleaned out and stop buying clones from people that I can't trust or don't know. But it's a risk that I had to take because I was mentally going through some shit that I needed to see some plants, some plants grow. I literally did this because I was miserable and was going through shit. And out of everything, like little by little, you know, little by little, my plants started getting more veg time and everything else. The first go around, I rushed. Everything that's in here right now is, is my shit that I be, I cloned these, made these clones, and been vegging them. Everything that's over there was the clones I originally bought. Had to bring them back to bring them from like bullshit like this, pretty much to train them to be like this and then to bloom them and I got a couple more weeks, two or three more weeks to go over there now. The tent number two, those plants looking decent, but if they had the veg the tent number three got, they'd be long cold. I don't know how quarters and shit falling out of my pocket. This clone, this clone, are the same ones over there, the two of the white runts and the wedding cake, they, they came off of these clones. That's the seedling that the other two plants came off of. These clones are the same age as those two clones over there. I just flipped them over two weeks earlier. So if this one had the same veg time, it would have been filled in like the, the one on the right hand side. These has the same veg time and I, grew, I bought them at the same time but it grows slower this is mac one and i discontinued it because it took so long for it to grow when i'm saying that is from the state that all these came from 
Then this one took the longest for any of the nodes to pop back up out of the plant, for them to stand up, for them to grow and to do anything. They didn't, it wouldn't grow. So I, I didn't make no clones from this. And then now as it is, the buds are different than what's over there. Those buds way bigger. Um, I don't like the smell of this. I don't like the look of it, you know what I'm saying? Those are wedding cakes, and I know I like wedding cakes, but the wedding cake buds are way different and dense versus what this is. And like these are like sucking the hairs in. But they are the same age. And all, originally I bought six, and they were sick and fucked up, and I had to train them and re -veg them to bring them to what they is now. Oh, no, it ain't about what, what I care about. Oh, no, I'm not tripping about that. I'm just talking. You know what I'm saying? He said, I need to stop buying clones, and I'm just explaining why I bought the clones and why this plant, it looks like the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Like all these tops here, if I would have veged, these tops would have matured and been bigger and would have filled it in more. But I just wanted to see some flowers developing. So I flip this tent over and then I start doing this tent. I start putting a different plant in every week. Like I put this seedling in here and then the following week I put this in here and then the following week I put this in here. So this that those are on week six, this is week five, this is week four, and this is week three. So and this one and this one are the same age and it's been trained the same amount of time as those, but they had an extra week or two behind them coming in here. Like when I had them vegging still, this one was real flat at one time in my veg area with sticks holding it down, with like little skewers holding it down, and it was real flat. When I put it in here, all the flat limbs did this. And then I stood some up that was leaning out, so it had some structure. But this is all budded up, and that's the same thing as the wedding cake in the back right now. And when this one doing way different and way better with a couple extra weeks of veg. And these all had thrips. And when I tell you that, that when I get them over here, I can treat for the thrips better because I can control this environment better. But I ain't really got no thrift issues anymore. That wouldn't make the new growth dead though, right? What would make the new growth dead? Yeah, I know, and I know this the internet. I know how the internet work, but the thing is, is I gotta remember how motherfuckers some people heads work. Cause even it's the internet, it's a lot of retarded, like immature ass grown people. You know what I'm saying? I don't let it bother me, cause they, you know what I'm saying? They just immature and, and just, just, just don't know no better. They all soaked up the damn shit in the bottom of them trays, so I'm waiting for that one to snap back off the dryness. This one too, really. But it done did it more than that one. This one wasn't nowhere as droopy. But I tell you, when I put that damn compost tea in here, this, these tops doubled in size with that compost tea. And now it's going to work that compost tea through, and I'm going to give it another compost tea in like a week. I'm going to water it a couple times, and I'm giving it up compost tea because it's also got dry amendments in the soil. What you were saying, Dad, Ted, about uh, the new growth diet? And then I got to go and plug my phone in in the, the veg tent. I oh, know I'm okay right now. So, you know, also, uh, once I get the, the deep water culture to veg out, like the front, the, the one in the, in the veg room, it, them gonna be some monster plants once they re-veg into veg state 
and then they take off with the deep water culture. Damn, I got a bug way down there loading the motherfucker. I don't know if y'all can see that. It, right here. It's bug way down there. I ain't never even noticed that one. Should I get rid of it or should I pull it up? I don't know if I know if I can pull that up. I don't know if I can pull it up a little bit and pull it up like that. See if we get mature like that, that's it right there. See that? Now we gonna let that stand up right there and do what it do. Let it do what it do. I can't believe how dry these got this time. And then I also gave it the capos tea because this one was yellowing up way too soon. And I don't know if because it was in a two gallon or what, but this was the same one over there and they, it didn't yellow up that soon. Like this one started yellowing up soon as hell. So I wanted to put some extra oomph into it to stop it from doing it. But everything around the bud areas is green and healthy. I got two likes and at least six people here right now. What the fuck? What the fuck? Mr. Fucker still here? He ain't saying nothing in a while. I still want to try to get to understand what you're talking about making a new growth. I'm so tired of people tagging me on Facebook shit. All these little women keep putting me in their shit trying to advertise shit that I ain't got nothing to do with. Yeah. Just found a blunt tail on the floor. I didn't even know it existed. I need to, where's my fucking lighter? Come on, people. I know I came down here with a lighter. I know I did. Did I leave it in the bed? Did I bring weed down here at all? I can't remember anymore. <clears throat> Is it not getting me no updates to the, the, the chat? Because ain't nobody saying nothing. I'm waiting for him to tell me what he was asking me if it was going to kill something or whatever. Where ain't my lighter, though? Whatever. I guess I did have a plug in here. I smoked, I smoked it. You know, I got quick smoking black and mine. Them motherfuckers are not doing a toll on my breathing. Once and once in the deep water culture start growing like this, they gonna take off. <clears throat> and the only why that one growing different is because I put it in that pot with my my amendments and shit, and they starting to be able to eat, and was and it took off and start growing. Well, ideally, you'll rip it off when you get new green growth in, but you feel me. Are you talking about the yellow leaves? I don't rip yellow leaves off if that's what you're talking about because I let them fall off and be brown and die because the plant was eaten off of them. So I let the plants take all the energy they can get off the leaf before I worry about taking them off. I'm not worried about bugs. I'm worried about the plant doing what it would naturally do to take the, the, the uh, nutrients out of that leaf. Especially in bud, that's like part of the ripening of the plant is cannibalizing off itself. There's different variations of yellow or the decoloration that you'll worry about in the form of where mine was and where it's happening at and where it's, it went and when it's happening. It's just part of the finishing stage. It's just doing it, I think, a week early than it should because I flushed them way too early. So I'm about to, I'm trying to let those dry out in tent number two and I'm going to hit them with one compost tea because they still have like two and a half weeks left after they dry out and get the compost tea. And I really don't have to flush the compost tea out 
but it uh, benefit a little bit from getting compost tea. The first, the tent number two didn't get a compost tea on the number three did. These got the compost tea and tent number three did. I got water bubbling now. It's just the tent number two ain't dry enough for me to start making the compost tea and brewing it and having it ready for the next watering. If I do it now, then the tea might end up over, over brewing. Saturday, I don't know which one, either this one or this one going into tent number one to go as the second plant in its uh, perpetual harvest situation. And even if I put six or seven or something like that in there, I'm good because it'll have to give me something every week to fuck with. If you're here, say what up, though. Now, I will tell y'all that in here, I do got some of my special nutrients in the, in the reservoir. So it's partially that and partially synthetic. Uh, which one was it? I want to say maybe this one if I put from this view. And when I first did it, you couldn't see no roots at all. Oh, you can't see. Well, you can see them a little bit, but the roots are coming out the sides and they're white and healthy and they splitting up and webbing out in the first couple of days. Yeah, my piss. I use fermented urine in my nutrients. Oh shit, let me kick this. Then if I'm not hit. I use uh Fermented urine and I, in soil I use uh, fermented urine and wood ash. But in here it's just fermented urine mixed into the nutrients. It's got this new and this. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, uh, fermented urine is one of the best, nitro uh, best nitrogen and PK uh, uh, ready, uh, ready, ready to uptake nutrients there is. Um, I've been used it for years. I'm mastering it now because even in my veg, my plants grow better and faster with that than they did with anything else that I could use, whether it was synthetic or uh, dry amendment nutrients. Uh, when I stopped using it, my plants went through some shit. When I stopped using it, my plants grew slower. Um, it's a lot of variations to what I see from it. It's beneficial. And also, as I showed in tip number two, those plants were vegged out the whole time with it. That was the only thing they had. And you can see right now that they're turning yellow from no nitrogen. And they're flushing out. So there's no piss left in the plants. This here, I put a little bit more, a little bit more until I start seeing the plants get happier. And once I seen them get happier, I left it alone. Because these two here, they was completely red when I put them in here. And now the new growth and the stems are turning green. I'm not joking. Yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> this is not apple juice. This is piss. It's been, that's been in that jar for two months. I had made a video months ago about it and I made a video and showing my my vitals and shit to show them healthy as fuck. Um, I'm 47 years old and built up like Bruce Lee. 
and everything about me is hell. No, I'm not gonna stop. I'll send you 10 clean cuts right now if you take a shot of that. Shot of what? I'm not drinking that. <laughs> yeah, it stink, but it don't stink like piss. It stink like 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 sewage almost. It smell like shit. Like it's like a funky smell. Like it, but once it's mixed with water, it smell like a nutrient. But in the, the high concentration, it's stank stank like something terrible. I forget my dog was upstairs. It scared you out for a little bit. Because it's not going to be in there when I smoke it. It's no different than using a synthetic nutrient and you flush it out two, three weeks before you harvest. None of that is left in that plant at the time of harvest. I don't use it in bloom. I use it in veg and it gives me good growth. And I use organic uh, amendments and shit through bloom, and it, and I'm flushing it now, and it's flushing everything out the system, even the organic shit, because the soil is heavy in organics, and you can see my leaves turning yellow all through tent number two, and that means that it has no nitrogen or anything left in it, and it's eating the leaves off to survive. If that wasn't happening, then it might be a, a chance that the piss was there, but it's not miracle grow, and it don't stay in the soil. And then the last two waters, three waters, it's been straight water, or it's been a water with molasses, or it's been a water with just absolute salt, and, and no other uh, ingredients, and it's still turning yellow, it's flushing out. I got literature on my channel about urine as fertilizer with, with people with vegetable gardens, farms that use urine. It's people uh, documenting that all the farm, all the farm hands piss in five gallon buckets and they let those sit in certain areas so they can piss in them and they use that for fertilizer. I mean, ain't no piss ever good to drink. Now what's in that jar is fermented. After it ferments, the uh, ammonia kills any bacterial or harmful pathogens that might fuck with a plant. But I can use it raw too and never had a problem, but it works better fermented. And I'm not drinking some two month old piss to prove a point to nobody. I'm not ignorant. Dry amendments is organic too. You don't see nobody taking a handful of that shit. No, if the roots were dead, they wouldn't be drinking. And they drink like a son of a bitch. The Soil King didn't eat a, a bunch of dry amendments. The Soil King ate dirt out of that bucket of special dirt that he got. dirt. I watch all that shit too. <laughs> it was in that special dirt that he got in the buckets. It's supposed to be fucking rich in fucking in, uh, bacteria and minerals and all kind of shit, but healthy enough to eat. I tell you that this one pretty much doubled in size since it's been here. Like I know it's growing. And I don't know why this LED light put red colors and shit and shit better than more than the other ones. Um 
Uh, which, what are you talking about roots choking on nitrogen? Ain't no nitrogen in my bloom. Like, I, I'd air every which way possible. If it, if it was dying like that, the buds would show it, not the, not the sun leaves. Like, ain't no sugar leaves going through shit. It's all sun leaves changing colors. If it was poisoned or fucked up and choking or not getting no kind of oxygen or not getting no uptake from the root system and the root system was damaged, all the bud would be like gold. You know, that gold weed that people have when they fuck up shit? That's what that would be. It would be like burnt or fucked up and not be able to be salvageable. It would be nothing. My weed looks pretty, smells pretty, feels pretty. Like it's getting harder and harder. It's swelling up. It's doing what to do. How long has what? How long? He, these been in here? These been in here for... I'm going on three days now. If that's what you're asking. It's pissing here. It's pissing this reservoir. All my plants and veg got piss in them. Only thing that don't got piss is the plants that's got blood on them. These growing. These are growing. These was fucked up and fucked up, fucked up when I put them in here. All this is like like fucking getting healthy and, and loving it. The roots are white. The only ones I can see roots right now is that one because they had a, a gang of roots. But I put it. I put a pile of rocks at the bottom uh, uh, of the clay balls, and then I put the roots in and I shook it a little bit. But I covered all the roots up with clay balls, so they gotta the roots gotta grow out of the clay balls. Well, you see what my beds with my, you know, I use sunshine number four and sunshine number four got sticks and shit and organic matter in it. And so I, I aim on getting all that act up and intertwining with the amendments and, and the fertilizers and the teas and shit that I put in the soil with them. I just put these in here like you let me explain something to you. All four of these clones was in dirt. I put these bubblers in this bucket and put those clones in here and bubbled all the dirt off the roots, okay? Two days ago, three days ago, I don't know, I made a video on it, you can go back and check. But those all was in my veg area in soil. I took them and I bubbled them in this bucket to aerate the roots and then loosen up the soil, shook the soil off of them and put them in here. These was all in pots. These are the revenge. They're They're revenging. They got a revenge first of all, just like that big, the big one I got over there. This, these two, are clones off of this one. Okay, but all four of these was in soil. Originally, I had these, which was like locked up in the soil because it came with the soil that I bought them in. I couldn't do shit with them in that soil. I took them out of that soil and put them in here. I rinsed dirt off of those and put them in here. For them that, that go through root shock or anything like that, if you can see here, this is all new growth in the two days. I had no green stem. The whole plant was red. See how red that is? All the tops are green again since they've been here. This one is a clone, so it didn't get red like those did. Those wasn't growing for shit. Those are the same age as the one that I got in two gallons that's revenging and growing. These was just out in solo cups two days ago, three days ago, and I rinsed them out and put them in here because they wasn't growing in the solo cups and I wanted something with roots in this. So I took those out of the soil and put them in here. None of my plants look rough. These plants are plants that need to revenge. I bought some clones that was fucking monster crops and need to revenge. None of my plants look rough. I'm gonna go back again.
How does this look rough? Where does it look rough at? It's bone dry right now. Where does it look rough at? This area here was covered up with leaves and wasn't getting no light, so it looked like it was Kelmag deficient or something. That one spot, it was, I just opened it up. But where does this look rough at? Where for a veg clone that I made off a plant that was fucked up originally. This clone. Where is it fucked up at? Tell me what's fucked up about it. These are the same strand growing the same way. What's fucked up about it? This one here, it's the same strand. It's the one that you saying it's fucked up and I keep saying that those was in that cup and wouldn't grow. And once they get used to being in that reservoir, they're gonna take off. This is that same genetic. This is the same age. This came from the same person. This is the same fucking situation that had to rebage. But in my soil and in the nutrients in this soil, it was happier and started growing. Never turned red, never did anything. Everything that's red is the original leaves that came on the clone when I bought it, all right? So this, this one, this one, and it might be one more, the, the original. All this is new growth after it vegged out. And now that it's got the vegging out, all the nodes will veg out and become new limbs. And the monster crop clone grows completely different if everybody's so professional growing. I don't have bugs. Do you see bugs on this plant? Do you see any damage on this plant? Do you see any bug bites on this plant? Any, do you see any? You see them on this one, cause this one came from the clones that originally had the bugs. These don't have bugs, they got scars from when they was on the plants that had bugs. These clones came from the, the plants that had the thrips. These did not, these did not. These did not. I bought some clones with thrips. And I've been fighting them and carrying them. I said I had thrips. I said I bought six clones that had thrips. I said that I used mothballs to kill the thrips. I said that I'm still putting mothballs here periodically to, to fumigate in case I had eggs of the thrips. I don't know if they're gone or not, but I don't have damage like I had originally. I can go into the tents and show you scars on the leaves from there where you can see the, the true thrip, the, the damage. In the tents, I use mothballs. In here, I use mothballs. I put a sack of mothballs behind this fan, close this up, and for a day or so at a time, I let this fumigate with mothballs. In the tent, I got lit these fans and I take one and I put it on the face down to the ground with the mothballs underneath it and it fumigates so much that the tent turns smoky and gray because it's, it's like smoke in there from the mothballs. I've been doing it and as I use mothballs for every type of bug problem I've ever had. These are old scars. You don't see fucking uh, drip scars everywhere. They got a couple bites on this leaf or that leaf or here and there. But it's not like it's fucking infested with thrips. Those are old leaves that were fucking damaged from when I made the clones. <clears throat> I got rid of thrips. You don't see no thrip damage. Let me show you. I'm going to show you everything that had thrip damage. I'm going to show you the last plant that had thrip damage. Okay. You see this leaf? Can y'all see the damage on that leaf? Yeah, you can see it because I can see it through the phone. Where's another leaf with thrip damage? And if that was if I was trying to hide it or cover it up, those leaves wouldn't still be there. You can see they brown scars and shit because they fucking went through the transition of healing. And, and stop being a, 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 a bruise or however you want to say it. But if it was infested, I wouldn't have to look for the scars, would I? I wouldn't have to search for them scars, them old scars. 
you don't see white bright bright scars it's a couple spot, spots you see them and if it was infested this motherfucker would have been infested infested this is the original plants that had thrips I've cured them and couldn't get rid of all the leaves with the scars on it but you don't see every scar every leaf scarred up or it look like it's fucking just eating my plants up this I'm not happy with and I keep trying to tell people and don't nobody listen is when I started growing in November I wasn't growing for yield I wasn't growing to impress nobody I was mentally depressed and stressed the fuck out I pretty much cried and begged to anybody around me to help me to get my grow going so I had something to mentally, mentally stable in my mind um, I veg these out after buying some fucked up clones I flipped them early because I wanted to see flowers growing if I would have veg these, these here, these four plants are the same age as this plant and this plant. These two had a week or two more veg. This the same strand that's in the back of that tent. Now this one, once it's done doing what it's doing, it's going to be completely different than that one. I'm going to be happy with this one. This one's going to be a completely different yield, a different matter of bud, the whole nine yards. This is my first tent grow. This is my first grow LED grow. I ain't never grew with LED in my life, and I never grew in a tent. So each one of these tents was a learning experience for me. Vegging in a tent, blood budding in a tent, the whole nine yards is a learning experience for me. I never done it before. And I said it from the moment that I started this grow. Like this is my first first go around in tents my first go around with LED lights. So I had to figure out LED distance because my lights ain't small. I didn't know what the output is and what it would do to the plants. So I had everything sky high when I started in the tents and little by little I brought the lights down and started you know, checking other shit for them. And every way, which way possible, as you can see, this tent's better than the last tent. And the next tent gonna be better than this tent. Oh uh, yeah, I haven't shook them because I had the tents open. There's no point in shaking them if, if they're not, you know, in a controlled environment. So once I get done with this live and talking shit, I shake them and close them up and let them do what they do for the rest of the day. I don't need no help. I don't want no help. I'm going to tell you like this, Mr. Uh, School of Crops. I've been growing for almost 30 years. Everything you want to tell me and do, I done did. Everything that I'm doing now, I'm doing for the reasons that I'm doing to get what I want out of my plants. Everything you want to tell me, everything the Grow Boston should try to suggest, everything the other YouTubers try to suggest, I did 15 and 20 years ago. I did 25 years ago. I'm 47 years old. I've been growing weed since I was 16 to 17 years old. I'm doing what I'm doing because I did a whole bunch of due diligence research. When I first started growing indoors, I took notes and shit for months, literally had like uh, um, 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 diary books filled up with notes of grows and the results of shit that I did to experiment with plants and the experiment with the results, the, the last result of my plants. I grew a hundred plants every different way I could and took notes off a hundred plants in two, 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 two liter bottles that I cut up the top, up, top off and I put black shopping bags in to cover the roots up. But I made it so I had root mass the same size in 100 plants in closets, rooms, bathrooms. Because I had a two-family flat house. So I grew them different, different hours of bloom, trained them different, fed them different. Did all kind of different shit to each one of them until I got the results that I was aiming for. And that's why I grow the way I grow. Nobody is going to alter and change that from what I aim for and what the results that I get from everything that I grow. When I grow flowers and I give them to people around me, people love my flowers. People want my weed. People get mad at me if I don't sell weed because I smoke my shit instead of buying something off the streets. I'm not just blowing smoke. I make some crud. I don't grow for quality quantity. I grow for quality and I make a whole different level of quality. Everything somebody want to criticize with my grow, your answers is not always the right answers. Like, I got everything you want to think about something or you telling me about my girl, everything is not what you think it's supposed to be every time. I do everything that I do because I have a blueprint that I created myself. <laughs> I 
I want this. And first of all, yeah, this is my first LED grow. And anybody that can grow like this, your first LED grow, that's a, that I would think that's really fucking good. I would think if you grew with high pressure sodium and metal high lids for 20 something years and you t grab the LED and a tent and you put this in your basement and you started this and this is your results, I don't think you can tell me anything. I don't, I, I'm, it's not going to work. These are two gather planters. I don't grow, I don't want big buds. I don't want my buds to be more than three grams. And I just put a, I shared a video earlier of some professional, well-known growers that talk about my method of growing and the bud structure and why this is better than big buds. Big buds don't get you better weed, my baby. And there's more and more people popping up with that theory. And I've always said it. And what's crazy is more and more big growers and big known growers are saying it. I was crying with people helping me with my growth setup. When was this? Uh, you act like you don't know how haters work. Like you, do, as somebody who don't want to see you prosper, or don't want to see you pass them up, or don't want to see you do better than them, gonna help you do better than them. All the shit you saying is ignorant as fuck. Like if somebody that's trying to make a name for themselves or think they the best grower or everything else, it's not easy to get a strand from them. If you gonna grow it better than them, or you might do something different than them. That don't mean shit to me. And yeah, I had a strand in the dispensaries and I made Detroit OG. You can look it up. I got the first video of me making that strand 15, down there 12, well 13, 12, 13 years ago on my first channel, which is that guy, Low Budget Grow. You know what I'm saying? Out of every which way possible, I help buku big growers in this state. I, I have a whole name in the grow industry. You can think you can tell me what you want to tell them about me. I know who I am and I know what I do. I know how people feel about my weed. I punish people with my weed. My uncles, cousins, if they piss me off, I cut them off from my weed. And they get mad and say, I don't care if that nigga don't like me. I just want to smoke his weed. And they get finked out for my weed. Everybody in the hood love my weed. Everybody dope dealers who go and spend thousands on weed would smoke my weed better than they smoke anything else. My weed is a different level around here. My shit is loved, cured up, dried up, harvested at the right time, the whole nine yards. And what you don't get is you can talk about this plant, but this plant got more weed than you think it's got on there. These buds are swelling the fuck up. I got buds down there. I got buds everywhere that's pretty much filling that, that little space up for the light intake. Now, there might be a gap here and there, but there's weed on this plant. I just vegged it and didn't veg it long enough for all this shit here to grow and mature. If it all got to this size, I'd be 100% on top. But all the shit that was in the middle, I didn't veg long enough for it to become what it needs to become. That plant has no bottom. Like, it ain't nothing underneath. It's all wide open. I don't have no lollipopping to do. My trainer is my trainer. My trainer is my trainer. I have no larf. I have no underbuds. Everything is on top of the plant. Well, you can feel like that, Dad. Everybody who smoked my weed loves my weed. I'm gonna tell you like this. The person that I used to fuck with that was my grow partner I got all my clones from. The woman smokes about a half ounce to an ounce a day at least. We can smoke three and four woods with three and four grams in it back to back. I can roll my weed up and she won't smoke my weed unless she's at home and done for the day. Whether she with me or not, she keeps my weed for when she get at home and wanna be blazed. And she says she can't function on my shit while she's still out here doing her shit. And I done seen her on numerous occasions not smoking until we get to her house. When we get to her house, at first she said, oh, we can smoke now and smoke my weed. I know what my weed does. You can put your own mind in your own game and think that your shit's superior. I know how many people love my weed. 
I know that at least 20 or 30 motherfuckers off YouTube has smoked my weed and that one person has made a bad review. A couple years ago, I had a couple reviews that everybody loved my weed that I mailed to them. My weed is good. She's smoking in front of me if I'm at her house with her. Like I said, I knew you was going to say that she don't smoke it at all and she was going to be acting like she liked my weed. No. I'm telling you that we could be around each other all day. I lived with her. I lived with her for a few months. Because when I had the power situation in my house with the neighborhood, I stayed with her and then I had my weed. But I'm telling you that she wouldn't smoke my weed during the day. She would smoke it at the end of the day where she can relax and chill at home and not have to function. A lot of major growers look at my shit. You can think what you want to think. What makes you think that this weed looks fucked up? Out of everything here, let me help you out. What 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 part of my bud looks fucked up other than a couple thrip bites you see on it? What on there makes you say that's not weed? What on there make you say that's not good weed? Tell me. Please tell me. Where in that is a sign of an unhealthy, ungood bud? Please, here, let me give you another, let me give you another view, close up. Please, tell me. Tell me where that don't look like it's some crud. Please, tell me. I'm waiting. I got rails on the leaves, the rails turning purple. Please tell me where that's not good weed. Bugs where, you dummy? <laughs> you getting there, you irritate me with the bug shit. I ain't got no bugs. I got gnats flying around. That's the only thing you can see right now, and that's because I got molasses and organic matter in my soil. Where do you see bug damage on that bud at? No, I want you to tell me where you can tell me that that's not good weed. You don't have to tell me it's good weed. But you're not going to tell me that uh, another professional grower or whatever will look at that and say it's bullshit. Tell me where you can look at that and say it's not good weed. Tell me where it don't look like my nuggets are nugging it. Tell me where at any space it don't look like my shit crudded out. Tell me where you see bullshit weed at. Tell me if I can keep on going like this to you, I can't see where it is, and show you nugs that's pretty as fuck, healthy as fuck with no bites, no nothing. Where can you tell me, somebody gonna tell me my weed look like shit? Please tell me. Even this shit here that is it, it, it's, uh, Mac 1 and everybody know Mac 1 grows slow as fuck. Where could you tell me they gonna say my weed look like shit? Please. Tell me that's not a pretty ass picture right there. Go ahead and screenshot that. Clip it. Do what you want to do. Tell me where the fuck they gonna say my weed ain't pretty. Tell me where the fuck they gonna say my weed ain't pretty. I, 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 I'm waiting. Those bug bites are from when the, ble the bugs was on there. Look at this leaf. Do you see any bug bites on that leaf? If that if it was bugs with every leaf half bites, that motherfucker's half dead without a bug bite on it. Ain't no recent bug bites. They was uh, thrips. Thrips is not like fucking spider mites or russet mites. It ain't damaged my buds. It ain't eat my buds up. I bought some clones that had thrips. I wasn't going to kill my plants off because of them thrips. Okay, piss is higher nitrogen, all right? If I had nitrogen in my plants, my plants wouldn't be turning yellow. If you grow and you flush your plants and you know how to grow, you would know that my plants are cannibalizing off of themselves and eating off themselves because there's no nitrogen in the plants. If you grow, you would know that. All them dead ass leaves should sh tell you that there's no nitrogen in these plants. It's dead brown leaves hanging for days all through the bottom of these leaves, of these plants. Why, how would there be nitrogen in these plants if they're all, even these are turning to turn yellow? Because they're going through their last stages. If you grow and you know about plants, you'll know there's no nitrogen in the soil if they start to fucking eat off themselves.
Uh, school of crops, you want me to block you, my baby? Are right, you going to be respectful and act like an adult, or do I got to get rid of you? All plants supposed to cannibalize off they self. What is wrong with y'all? No matter if you hydro, soil, or fucking organic, no matter what it is, this is supposed to happen. This is one of the ripening stages of the fucking cannabis plant in nature, in fucking indoors, outdoors, green greenhouses. If your plants is not doing this, you're smoking nutrients. That's what y'all not understanding. If you're not cannibalizing, if your plants are not eating off itself at the end of harvest, you're smoking nutrients. Your plants and your buds getting hot, your ash is black. Somewhere another science of you smoking nutrients is happening. But if you're not cannibalizing off yourself and you're harvesting healthy green plants, you're smoking fucking nutrients. Then why, if it's damaged to the root system, why my buds are not showing damage? Why everything around the bud is still healthy? Why is it only the sun leaves that's turning yellow? The only thing that's dying is the sun leaves. Why is that? Tell me. Explain that to me. If you think it's root damage, wouldn't the bud be dying? Okay, let me show you root damage. <laughs> I told y'all my master plant got poisoned because the CO2 container. Now look at all these nets. These are all nets that I killed with mothballs, okay? Now, that's one plant that had uh, thrip bites. The new, the new growth don't have it. This plant got poisoned. The roots got poisoned with CO2 gas, with, with the liquid out of my CO2 generator. How come some of it's bounced back, some of it's dying? Okay, this is death from root damage, all right? And I saved some of it flushing the system out, but a CO2 bottle busted and the, salt, the, the, the smart pot, uh, pot soaked in the CO2 uh, fluids and it killed the roots. This is root damage. The buds died. I ripped off all the dead buds, but that's root damage. And some of them still alive because that area of the roots didn't get damaged. So I'm letting that finish just to let it finish, but that's root damage. That's what dead buds look like from root damage. None of this has dead buds on it. And if it was roots fucked up and the roots was dead and the roots wasn't uptaken, all of this would be suffering. All of this would be turning brown. All of this would be turning yellow. All of this would be dry and dead. It's flushing. No, I'm not throwing it away. I'm showing it. I'm going to finish it, and I'm going to let it do what it do. I'm going to see if the bugs is going to spread out, and the, the spider mites that don't exist is going to take over my grow. Because all y'all know so much shit. I'm going to finish this plant because it still got a couple of pretty bugs on it. It still got some shit that I want to see what it tastes like. This is a seedling from one of my strands, and I want to see what the good bud's going to be like. So even if it's dead, it's still giving me a couple nice little nugs of some shit worth still letting it just sit over here since I ain't got nothing else to take this space up, and I'm making a perpetual grow in this tent. I pushed it over in the corner to let these nugs finish after it got poisoned and fucked up. Just to show y'all, this... It's not poison and fucked up. This is poison and fucked up. It's nothing y'all can tell me. I'm going to educate y'all before you educate me. Everything you think you can tell me, you can tell you can stop. I done did this for years. I done did everything for fucking years. I know what a healthy bud look like. I know what an unhealthy bud look like. I know all these bud sites was filled up at one time. I know I came in here and there was a puddle in here with seal. Uh, one, did one of these jugs blew up with my co2 generators and it soaked into the roots and poisoned this plant i know that this plant had root damage i know that and i flushed it out put some more dry amendments in it and started watering it again and the plants that the areas that wasn't damaged started growing again and started doing what they do but the areas that was dead is dead so i know what a damaged plant looks like i know what roots fucked up roots look like how the fuck is there a bead of water right there what the fuck is that? Look at that. 
That motherfucker putting resins out. Look. Have you ever seen a leaf do that? It's coming out the spikes and shit of it. That's different. Hmm. But anywho, yeah, that's even more reason I want to see what happens with this plant. But anywho, these are rock hard. Look, I'm squeezing hard as I can. Okay? They're rock hard. And they're healthy on the... Mm, and smell really fucking good. I just squoze one for you. Everything look like Larson to somebody in a fucking video. Y'all are fucking rocket scientists. I love y'all. I love the fuck out of y'all. Everybody can determine if something's LARF. If it was LARF, would I do this? This is not LARF. Nothing about it is LARF. You can try again. Ain't shit you can tell me about my growth. Y'all can try to tell me that you think my growth fucked up. You can try to think my weed ain't good weed. You can try to tell me I don't know what I'm doing. I'm 47 years old. I'm far from ignorant. I'm far from a layman. If I wasn't doing what I was doing and knowing what I was getting out of the situation, I wouldn't be paying fucking electricity bills for no fucking reason. I would listen to all the reasons that everybody else has, and I would switch my shit the fuck up. Ain't nothing y'all can tell me. I've been doing landscaping since I was fucking 14 years old. I own a landscape business. I fucking do shit for a living to fuck with dirt, fertilizers, and shit. I know shit from different acidic fucking plants to alkaline plants. I know all of this shit. Ain't shit y'all can tell me. All y'all can do is sit there and talk the shit you want to or let me do me as a grown motherfucking man. Listen. I guarantee out this tent I get at least a, a quarter pound of dry weed. The next tent I'm going to get more than that out of. I'm not tripping if this a quarter pound. It's more weed than y'all can decipher in these plants. Y'all can't tell me shit. I know what I'm looking at and I know what I got. I know that I didn't grow this long enough and veg right, but I know my mind, my mental distress and depression I was going through needed to see flowers growing. I did this for a whole different reason. I didn't grow this to say, oh, I'm about to get 10 pounds. I grew this as a hobby and as something for me to get my mind stable. Can y'all wrap y'all heads around that? I am a single father with a miserable ass fucking life. I needed something to have something to do to watch these flowers grow. And I flipped these over soon because I wanted to see some flowers grow. The tent next door got better bud, more weight, and more everything because it had more time to veg. This tent and the tent that that plant that was dead in, I flipped over soon because I wanted to see flowers grow. I wanted to see flowers develop. I wanted to see some crystals develop. I wasn't doing it to get fucking a quarter pound of plant. Um... If I worried about y'all talking shit about the piss, I wouldn't tell y'all. You ever thought about that? I got, like I tell you, I got literature on my channel about urine as fertilizer and every different form of variations. You can go back and read it. You can Google search it. You can Google search fermented piss with wood ash as a benefit of beneficial fertilizer, and you can learn some shit. Out of every which way possible, I got bottled newts here, and I'd rather use my piss. What's up, Dasman? Everything I grow, I grow the same. I grow what I grow to grow it the way I grow it. Now, this the thing is, it's just like a medical fit. Everybody go and attack medical fit, but he got his harvest. He smokes his weed. He gets his views. He got his love, but he's got a handful of people from the grow boss that comes to try to tell him his plants look like shit. And he keep doing what he do every harvest, every grow, and he's prospering the way he wants to prosper. His money, his time, and effort is invested in that for the reasons he has. He's got a whole bunch of education to give y'all and different hype, you know, uh, big words and different type of uh, terminologies of growing and soil shit and all kind of shit. But he still don't know what he's talking about. He still don't grow right because. It's not satisfying y'all eyes, but it don't matter if he's doing what he want to do with his garden. People still feel like they can go and try to criticize his garden. 
Some people do and some people don't. Some people don't care, but I did which way possible. Uh, 90% of the fertilizers are products, product, product, by, pri, by, byproducts of uh, waste. Um, you can use cow shit. You can use bat shit. You can use seabird shit. You can use uh, fish shit and piss. You can use fish guts. You can use human sewage that they, you know, put through a, 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 a recycling situation and make fertilizer out of. There's bags of human sewage that's sold as fertilizer. Uh, and only difference is, is those are sterile and uh, fermenting my urine sterilizes it and gets any pathogens or bacteria out of it. I ferment it for months at a time. I'm healthy as fuck. I'm not fucking on drugs. I don't eat unhealthy. I'm not a uh, salt-based diet. Um, it's all based on what you eat is what you are and what you piss out. Um, I got 100% clear and clear bill of health every time I go to the doctor, so my piss is like gold. Um, first of all, cow shit got byproducts in it because you don't know what that cow ate. You don't know if the grass that cow ate was fertilized. You don't know what anything that what that cow went through. You don't know. You don't know what that fertilizer is really based on to know if that was an organic cow or not. It's all the same shit. Piss is not fucking toxic for plants. If you Google it before you argue with me, you might learn something and then come back and say, oh, I see what you're saying now. I got worm castings. Worm castings ain't nothing for bloom. Worm castings is a nitrogen. And it ain't, it's 1%. You have to put fucking a half a bag in a, a two gallon pot for it actually to be 100% benefit by itself. It's an it's a additive to go with other amendments and other fertilizers to enhance things. By itself it's, it's nothing. Urine, it's got a full P NPK in it. Uh, uh, worm casting, it's got one thing in it. A little bit of calcium. I got worm castings in here. I got worm casting in my veg. I got worm castings everywhere. I use worm castings in my tea. Now, I haven't, I'm have i about to uh, do a, a, a compost tea for here, which I don't have to, but I'm going to because it's still got almost three weeks left. And I'm going to give it a little bit of boost with a compost tea. And then I'm gonna let it run and run its uh, <coughs> course. <coughs> it's a superfood. I don't use it in bloom. And then after I stop using it in veg, it's got eight, nine, ten weeks to get out the plant in bloom. But in bloom, as of right now, I would tell you honestly, my plants grow better with my pest than they deal with dry amendments or with synthetic nutrients. And the synthetic nutrients kind of unbalanced what I had going on and burnt my plants. I got a couple plants that had to come back from being burnt with the synthetics. Yeah, my tent fucked up because I overflowed my, my bags and shit fell out on the, on the floor. And it's uh, uh, mycorrhizal soil. And then when, uh, the, when I shake these up, shit spray out of these and mix up in it. And once I harvest, I can clean my tents out and reset the tent. Uh, I'm organic, so dirt don't hurt dirt. Um, one of the last grows I did at my house was a synthetic grow when I had the big scrog in the middle of my grow and then I had three lemon garlics on one side and uh, three uh, redneck weddings on the other side. Those was all grown with green magic nutrients which a friend of mine owns the nutrient line and got grow shops in Michigan. Um, that was his nutrient line and I did a grow with it. I don't want synthetic weed. I got the deep water culture for the closest thing to synthetic. I'm an organic grower. I like organic weed. I'm not about to grow a whole bunch of weed that I'm not gonna enjoy smoking to be unstubborn for y'all.
That's what y'all don't get. Y'all want me to grow something to satisfy y'all that's not going to satisfy my, my, my quince or my thirst or my wants for the weed. Organic weed and synthetic weed taste and smoke completely different. So you tell me you can't get nets with, with synthetic weed. You don't get no kind of bugs with synthetic weed. You can't get uh, you can't get thrips. You can't get spider mites. You can't get rusted mites. You can't get nothing with synthetic. My weed ain't poof and it ain't piss filled. Tell me something. If I use urine in veg and I grow eight weeks in bloom, nine weeks in bloom with no urine. You don't think that urine is ate up or flushed out the door, uh, soil uh, out of out the plant in eight weeks? I'm not not gonna piss on my plants. I'm not. Dude, uh, what stage of y'all don't even feel you don't even think that your plant supposed to cannibalize off itself? So how am I ever gonna pr uh, prove you wrong on that? Out of everything ignorant that you can actually say is you don't think that your plant's supposed to decolorate. You don't think it's supposed to turn yellow nowhere. You don't think it's supposed to cannibalize off itself. That's the ignorantest thing I ever heard from a grower and want me to listen to them. That's not even not even feasible in my mind. If anybody else, there's 10 people here that agree that you, your plants are not supposed to cannibalize off itself, say I. I water these plants every two days. They be bone dry. I can lift them up with one hand. You are fucking delusional. You don't get it that I water these plants every two days, every day and a half. This plant, these tents, and the other tent. I just watered the other tent this morning. And they get the same feed and the same everything. So why was I watering this morning with a gallon of fucking fluid that took forever to even leak through the system? These right here are not heavy. They're not fucking saturated like that. They're about halfway wet right now. And I'm waiting for them to dry out so I can hit them with compost tea. They're not, they're not fucking soaking wet. You don't know what you're talking about. You need to stop. You need to stop right now. You're not the weed guy. You're not the soil guy. You can't look through this phone and tell me what the fuck is going on in my grow. You're fucking tripping. And I'm telling you right now, after this live, you'll be blocked if you don't stop. Um, I'm going to figure out how I can show you like in another day or so that these are dry. I'm gonna figure, oh, you know what? Here, I know exactly how I can do it. Where is it? This right here, okay? So, I, they're wet right now. See this? See where it say dry and all that? They're wet right now, so we're gonna do this. And then, you know, these are plastic bags, so there's no way I can lie about the wetness of them. I don't know if y'all can see it. It say wet right now, okay? So tomorrow, we're gonna see what they say. They say wet. They say wet, all right? They all wet. They all wet. We're gonna see how long it takes for them to dry. Would that satisfy you? Um, Mr. Grow Boss dickhead, listen, when I water them, I come in here and I stick my hands through here and I lift the bags up until they don't have no weight in them. And then I water them, okay? I don't water them, I overwater them or anything. If I did, all these leaves would be puffy. An overwatered leaf would be puffy. Not souping down like this, not looking like a regular leaf. They'd be puffy and swolled up. They'd be fucked up. Ain't none of my shit overwatered. Ain't nothing over water. 
Only thing is, the motherfucking I did last time is I saturated him with, with Aspen salt water to flush the system out even more and to put some sweetener into the bud. Ain't shit you can tell me about my plants. Only thing that happened here is that I, I, I vegged, I, I opened up the plants and all the nodes that was down here was still on the plants as little nodes. As they bloom, them nodes start turning up like this did. And you see the stretch on it. And it came from the middle and had to grow up. All these stretched up and grew up from being nodes and became a top. If I would have vanished them a little longer and let them mature, the, all that shit would have filled in and been bigger tops. Ain't shit you can tell me about this. I've been flushing for almost a week and a half, two weeks. So all the leaves, are, the plants are hungry and eating off itself, trying to get nutrients. That's what a plant does. I don't need a meter. <laughs> Yo, my fucking God. I just dug that meter out of a box full of shit that I don't use to get it for your dumb ass. I don't use a meter. I'm using the meter now to show you that it'll be dry in a day. It'll be dry and not saturated for how long you think it'll last to it's harvested. That's what I'm getting the meter out for. I don't use a meter. None of this is a meter used fee a feed. I came here today, these was droopy and still ain't bounced back from the droop yet from being thirsty. If you go to the beginning of this live, when I start watering these, all these was droopy and saggy down because they was thirsty. All of them, all three of these. And they still soaking up and bouncing back. I filled these trays up with water after they dripped through and they soaked all that water up and they gonna bounce back today after I close this up and I shake this up like somebody telling me to. And I put my CO2 back in form and close this up. Everything's going to be fine. If you go back to the beginning of this life, all three of these plants was droopy as fuck. And I pumped the water, uh, a gallon of water in them. Every time I water, I water with this sprayer. And I spray it, each one of the pots for about 10, 15 seconds at a time. And bounce back and forth to them so everything soak in and resaturates the roots and waters the plant. All these plants was droopy this morning. I know what the fuck I'm doing. You can't tell me about my grow. Oh, <laughs> you just being an asshole. You really about to make me block you. My buds are not going to shrink down that much. Now, this the thing is, it's over there. The ones in the back is this strand. Those buds are this size now. This one had more veg. This one has more bud. And this one going to do a lot better. This had two more weeks of veg than the other one had. And this one got a whole different stack of bud on it. You can't tell me shit. I know what the timing was for the veg that I did in there versus how I trained it and versus what it's doing on in the stage that it is. This is a wedding cake. This one growing completely different than the other one because it had more veg time. This is the white runts that I got a clone for in the veg. And this one has more veg time than over there. And it's doing completely different than any plant over there because it had more veg time. You can tell me what you want to tell me. You can try to tell me about my grow all you want to. They doing what the fuck they supposed to do. That's a seedling. These are two clones. It's the same age as those clones. I got them the same time. These are the clones that had the thrips. Do you see it all thripped up? Do you see it all uh, uh, bit up and fucked up? Or is it unhealthy? Is it underwater? Is it overwater? Which one is it on this one? I'm in two gallon planters. I water every day and a half, two days, no matter what I do and on all these. Only ones that don't get water every two days is the veg ones, and they get water every three or four days. I wanted four plants with one gallon. These are all two gallon planters with one plant in each one. What are you talking about? And none of my plants have legs. 
All my plants are trained exactly the same fucking way. I do everything I'm going to do the way I'm going to do it. You can try to tell me what the fuck you want to tell me. Everything is the same fucking format, same training, same man fucking everything. Everything. None of my plants have bottoms. None of my plants have legs. This is a seedling. I don't know if I can see that because I'm trying to go underneath. But that's a seedling. And that's the weed that everybody tried to tell me that was going to choke my plant. Ain't nothing you can tell me about my growth. Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. These are two gallon planters. How many fucking gallons can I put in two gallon planters? I put a gallon through three plants. You talking about school of crop? I mean, he can keep trying. I mean, at every which way possible, at every which way possible, you can try to tell me what you want to tell me. I'm going to answer it. I'm going to tell you that ain't shit you're going to do going to sidetrack my mind. Ain't nothing. And for you to do that, you're a hater. Yeah, school of crops about to be blocked. I'm trolling myself. How does that make sense? I'm trolling my own life. I'm trolling my own life. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? How do y'all minds work? Feel how you want to feel. Feel how the fuck you want to feel. I know I'm doing what I'm going to do every time, every time I'm going to do what I do. You do what you do. How many people following you and following your directions? I came to Girl Boss on purpose and did shit on purpose for the, I was fucking with the Girl Boss. Y'all are so slow, it's fucking sad. Everything I did on the Girl Boss, I did as a stage to fuck with the Girl Boss and to get views and to get subs. I wasn't it wasn't nothing I needed help with. It's nothing I ever need help with the Girl Boss because I don't agree agree with anything the Girl Boss says. Nothing. I watched that man smoke weed that was sticky and wet and say it was good weed and that's why he don't need to grow. He don't even know what good weed is. I'm not listening to shit that man ever says. I didn't get abused on the Girl Boss. I got 100, almost two subs from the Girl Boss. It's a difference. I was trolling then. I'm glad your plants drink more than my two gallon girls. I'm, I'm glad. I guess what? If you know about organic soil, organic soil is not supposed to ever be dried out, first of all. Second of all, organic soil holds water retention differently than anything cocoa, uh, 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 sunshine number four, anything. If you got organic soil, organic soil is a, is a water holder. It holds moisture. It's supposed to. That's how the microbes and everything stay alive. You're never supposed to dry your soil all the way the fuck out. That's not how it works. Both of y'all can y'all can unsubscribe for me, or I can block y'all if you want. I almost cried on Grow Boss's channel.
Anybody else? <clears throat> I guess I'll go ahead and end this live. Smoke me some weed. Chill out and do what I do. Numbers drop real fast when people realize they ain't got shit to talk about no more. But y'all have a blessed day. I'm going to watch these plants prosper. And I'm going to do what I do. And everybody can hate all they want to. Oh, the numbers coming back. Ain't nobody else talking though, so ain't no point of me being here killing my battery. <clears throat> Anybody else want to talk some shit before I end this live? Nobody? We done for the day? I got accused of trolling my own channel. Oh, I just swiped them. They good. I, I, I hit all three of them. They all right. I did everything out of I, I, I try to explain to them the situation of what I did to learn my grow and to learn the, grow, the way I want to grow and they don't want to wrap their head around that I can't do shit else for them. If I tell them I did due diligence to figure out what I want and what I aim for out my plants and they can't accept that, there's nothing else I can say to them. I ain't never seen so many grown motherfucking people act like fucking kids in my life. Like, they think that shit normal. I don't know what to tell y'all if you think that shit's normal. It's not okay. It's not okay at all. I can't tell you how to drive your car. I can't tell you what lines to put in your grass. I can't tell you which way to wipe your dishes. I can't tell you to do shit in your life, but everybody want to tell me how to do my shit. My thing is, is if I tell somebody as a man that when I set this grow up, I was going to do some depressing ass, stressful shit in life. Life was fucking me up and I needed something to help me keep my mind stable and they can't understand that. And I said I rushed into the bloom and everything else from that. They can't understand that one thing. But then you want to talk about how I treat my plants, how I feed my plants, and my plants got bugs and all this shit. I'm not going to sit there and listen to somebody try to dissect my grow like they fucking sitting in front of me with me smoking a blunt and looking at my shit and not looking through a phone or a TV or a computer. <clears throat> this is the first day motherfuckers got on my nerves. And usually my lives are good and we go for hours and hang out and talk shit and do what we do. These motherfuckers sat here for fucking hours straight trying to attack me. But I'm trolling my channel. My plants are unhealthy. My plants are fucked up. My plants been looking the same since I started. And they gonna stay looking the same because I grow my plants the same for a reason. Maybe somebody needs to try to grow a plant like me to see the outcome before they talk shit. Maybe, just maybe, if somebody can blueprint my methods and grow a plant all the way from start to finish the way I do and get the results that I do and they see the results for themselves, they'll shut the fuck up. But because they think everybody else on the YouTube that's got a big plant or got big buds are the better growers, then that's, a, that's what's winning. That's like fucking the Illuminati of, of YouTube and weed growing if you ask me because that's stereotyping shit and have no idea if my shit works or if it's factual or not because they have never tried it. But I tried their methods and don't like it and get they try to talk shit to me about me not liking what the fuck they want me to like. I don't get that. How am I trolling myself when you're trying to force me to do something I don't want to do? Nobody can got a clone 
this short and bushy ever and none of the motherfuckers talking shit can do this they want something that's tall and skinny and slim and stretched out for it to be convinced that it's a plant this here is not a plant to them this is not healthy to them this is not trained to them this is not me training a plant the way i want it to be to them this is me fucking up a plant i don't know but it's not me growing my shit the way i want to grow my shit and it's not me doing it repeatedly over it and over it and over again with healthy plants i don't give a fuck what you tell me the plants are fucking healthy they can't wrap around that these plants had to re -veg. And it's re -vegging and it's growing into a healthy plant. And I bend it down and I train it and it's getting tops now. And the plants that's in my deep water culture is the same thing. It has to re -veg. And once they re -veg, they're going to bust open and they're going to stretch out. They're going to grow like this and they're going to bush up. And they're going to be some out cold plants. And they can't wrap their hands around that those plants in there I have to re -veg and bring back to a vegetation state. And I bought them like that not knowing. But I bought them saying it is what it is. I got my money invested in I'm not going to throw them away I'm not going to just not grow them I'm going to grow them and put them in the circulation with everything else they'll catch up when they catch up and they'll get flipped when they get flipped you said you had bugs I said I had bugs when I bought my first clone Gave me thrips. Nothing is looking like they're thripped up. Nothing looked like they're being attacked. Nothing got scars all over it. I showed them scars and they said, That's, those are scars. Yeah, those are the original scars from the original fucking bugs attacking the plant. You don't see no new occurrence. You don't see shit happening over and over and over again. You don't see my plants fucking scarred the fuck up and dying from trying to heal from the scars or anything else. And I'm gonna tell you, even if I still had thrips, I ain't bothered if they're not making my plants fucked up. If my plants still finish, and my plants still healthy, my plants still growing, my plants still training, my plants still planting. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. This is a fucking plant. And when it gets transplanted and the roots spread out, it's gonna be a plant even more. I'm not tripping. It needs to be transplanted and seedling. Is it bad? Is it unhealthy? Is it dying? Huh, I don't know. I know it's got a weird growing formation. The, the, the nodes, nodes ain't growing even like back to back. They growing lopsided, but it's a seedling. It's doing what it's doing. Is it over water? Is it underwater? are not healthy i'm sorry to say it but those plants are fucked up i just put them in the deep water culture two days ago they were sitting here for fucking weeks in solo cups not looking like shit and i took them out of solo cups rinsed the roots off and took the dirt off the roots and put them in a the deep water culture and they didn't die and they, they're, they're they're growing and getting used to where they at now and can't nobody say damn that motherfucker just rinsed the roots off with some plants and changed them from being organically soil grown to hydroponically grown. No, I get criticized for that and crucified and talk shit to and tell me that my plants is not healthy, they're fucked up and everything else. When they gotta get to that stage before you can talk to me. I'm already determining not to broadcast on YouTube at all. I'm ready to stop putting shit on YouTube, just do my grow and go about my business. And it's because it's not get it's not YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like things ain't what it's supposed to be. Things ain't where I need them to be on YouTube and it's not prosper for me to come here if all I got is fucking hate and ass motherfucking people coming on my channel talking shit. I know what I'm looking at in real life and I know I got some pretty ass buds growing. I know they dense buds. I know they smell good. I know they look good. I know they crystally. I know that they doing what the fuck they supposed to be doing. People don't even know plants supposed to cannibalize off they self. What the fuck is really going on? How are you gonna talk shit about my plants because they eating off they self when they supposed to do that? 
I don't know how y'all don't know that that's supposed to happen. I got some extravagant shit going. I got some normal shit going. I got shit that's sitting on the floor still waiting to be used. And all the equipment I got, all the soil, the fertilizers, the nutrients, and everything else, I have less than $1,000 tied into my whole grow. Motherfuckers got $1,000 invested in one tenth. And I'm saying $1,000 to give me a grace period because I ain't want to underdo it, but I know I'm not even nowhere close to $1,000. I might be about five or six hundred dollars I have invested in my grow. From everything, from the newts, the dirt I done bought, the lights I done bought, the tents, the hydroponic system, everything. I got maybe six hundred dollars invested in my grow. And still got buku equipment to use. I ain't mad. And I'm trying to adjust things to get my utilities balanced off so I ain't got a high ass utility bill but in the end of the day once I have to stop when I can stop buying uh, weed from dispensaries or off the streets and I keep harvesting for myself I'm happy and the situation that I want harvests for myself and the fastest that I'm doing it is I'm scared of getting weed with fentanyl on it I'm scared that I'm going to get a blunt one day that might kill me and my kids ain't going to have a dad no more so out of everything, I, I'd rather do this and rush it and do what I do to get my own weed versus keep buying shit that I don't know what the fuck I'm going to buy one day. And that shit's getting real with fentanyl being on everything. But as I look through this phone and I look at my plants, I really be wanting to know what the fuck somebody else sees that they want to tell me that my plants are fucked up. Because from what I'm looking at through this phone, my shit's pretty. My shit's really fucking pretty. And I, and I feel like after a certain level of the bullshit coming out of people's mouths, they mad because I'm not following the normal blueprint of shit and my shit comes out the way it does. They're mad because even though they think they know some shit, I come back and tell them y'all wrong, this is what's supposed to happen. And they don't want to listen to me because they think they know everything, but don't nobody understand that every weed plant at harvesting's time, unless you in 100% organic soil that you're not flushing, the plant supposed to cannibalize off itself and turn colors and go through its stages of like fall coloring. It does that because it's a fall harvest. And even outside it does it. Unless you got some high ass nutrient, nitrogen and nutrients in your soil still. If you're growing synthetic and your plants don't cannibalize at the end, you're smoking nutrients. You're worried about me smoking my urine, but you're smoking metals and all kind of different shit that is not flushed out your plants because they're still in them plants if the plant has not cannibalized off itself. If it has not started eating off itself trying to look for nutrients, it didn't need to do that because you was pumping nutrients still in it. How does that not make sense? How are you going to tell me my plants shouldn't be turning yellow at the last stage of harvest and it's telling you that it's, it's looking for nutrients any way it can so it started drawing energy off itself eating the sun leaves and transparent them energies into nutrients for the buds. When that's not happening and you in synthetic nutrients and that's not happening, you are leaving hard metals in your smoke. Then that's why smoke sparks. That's why weed sparks. That's why the joints and blunts burn your lips. That's why the ash be black because there's nutrients left in weed. Nutrient weed get me paranoid. If weed is dirty with nutrients and I smoke it, I get clammy, sweaty, shaky, and paranoid because I'm putting toxins in my body that shouldn't be there. I know this, and I know people harvest with nutrients in their weed. I know a lot of synthetic growers that do it. I done watched synthetic growers grow commercial weed that they fed one day, two days later they came and harvested because they needed weed. And I know that that weed was packed with nutrients and metals. I know that if you're trying to tell me that my plants are not supposed to turn yellow at the end, or turn light green, or cannibalize off itself, 
you're smoking nutrients and you're not going to be able to tell me shit ever again. It's nothing that your mouth or your fingers can ever type to me that would get me to listen to you if your plants are staying jack green all the way through harvest. I have been doing this for years. I grow a certain level. I harvest at a certain level. I dry at a certain level. I cure to a certain level. And I smoke fucking good. Nothing that I get from the dispensary is dried or cured up. Nothing I get from the streets is dried and cured up. So when I say people like my weed, for one thing, it's dried and cured up. Where you can bust it down with your fingers and do this. And not have to peel it apart or have sticky shit all over your fingers because it's still wet. People will be on YouTube talking about good weed with wet weed, weed that's sticking to their fingers and the crystals all over their fingers. That weed is still wet. You can't even get high from that weed, right? Because it don't combust yet because it's not dried up and cured up and fermented. The weed, the crystals, and everything smoke different, dry. I know all of this shit and people are trying to tell me I don't know shit about fucking weed. Any kind of sewer that you watch to do weed reviews, if you're smoking some good weed, the weed break up and break down completely different than some shit that's wet and sticky and fucked up. You can't even put wet weed in the grinder and break it up because it sticks in the grinder. When I'm done venting or going off on the bullshit that I just dealt with, ain't nobody talking. Y'all just sitting here chilling. I appreciate the views. But I had to delete three people because they want to tell me my grow is unhealthy. My, my buds are fucked up. I got bugs. I'm overwatering. I'm underwatering. I'm not watering enough. Which way is it? I, at every which way possible, when I'm starting to say the shit they saying, they saying I'm trolling myself because the same person told me that I was either overwatering plants or underwatering plants or not watering frequently enough because his one gallon pots dry out more than my two gallon pots. Which would dry out faster, a two gallon pot or a water or one gallon pot? His one gallon pots drying out twice as fast as my two gallon pots. Make that make sense. I'll wait for that answer for him to tell me my plants are fucked up because two gallons of soil stay wetter longer than one gallon of soil. And then tell me I'm stupid because I'm not, he's trying to help me and I'm not listening. Did anybody else catch that that was here at the time? I'm bored, so I'm just talking shit to myself because ain't nobody talking to me. Ain't nobody even talking at me now. Then I bring out a moisture meter, and they say, you don't know how to grow if you got to use that. Well, first of all, I grow organic. So if I don't want my soil to dry out all the way, and I wasn't sure about it at the time, yeah, I use a moisture meter, but I don't need it for what I got because the pots ain't big. Now, I used it for my uh, organic shit, and I lit this because I don't want to go upstairs to ro uh, roll a blunt. I use it for the one with the like 20, 25 gallon planter that's organic to make sure the soil didn't dry out in certain spots and kept it moist so the beneficials and everything in the soil stayed wet. I pulled it out today as a, a mechanism to show that the person saying that my plant's gonna stay wet through harvest, I could show that they dry it out with that. Then they started talking shit about me having that. Anywho, let's say there's three people left in here. Ain't nobody talking. Oh, now it's four. Ain't nobody talking, though. I am done talking to myself. So 
so I guess I'll end this live unless somebody want to start talking. All right, people, y'all have a blessed day. Y'all be safe. I was just reading the chat before I ended it just to see what else other people had to say. I see Desmond think that I'm delusional on how I grow and why I grow the way I grow, too. I don't know what to tell you, peoples. I'm going to keep doing what I do. Y'all have a blessed day. Y'all be safe and, uh, yeah, smoke up some motherfucking weed. I'm going to smoke me up some weed. Peace out.